Welcome back to the Cars, Cats, and Cannabis YouTube channel. Today is the day. We are taking the truck down to BDS's preferred installer to put on the lift these BF Goodrich KM3 mud terrains in 35 by 12 and a half 17. And we've got our Nitro 410 gears here. I've got another couple things in here. Another 35 inch tire and a steel drive shaft. So let's get on the road. Well, we are here. The BDS lift is finally on. And definitely looks a lot better from the front. We have those Multimatic DSSV shocks sticking out. Spool valve dampers. Supposedly resist overheat heating better than traditional valved shocks and therefore will have a longer life. Remain to be seen, I'm at almost 50,000 miles, but we have my front skid plate that I believe was mistakenly undercoated, but we can get that off. And all the pretty new hardware. Glad winter's over, that's why I waited. Beautiful new, this is the adapted, beefy BDS skid to the rest of the 589 skids and we see a nice steel drive shaft from GM performance parts there. We also have the steering knuckle. And uh, <laughs> barely clears the stock wheel. I'm only driving this home because unfortunately <laughs> As you can see, I'm on my 33s and stock wheels, which supposedly don't fit with the lift, but they actually do barely. Uh, my bead locks did not fit. They were zero offset, four and a half inch back spacing, but the web design on those KMCs just didn't fit. So thankfully these fit and I've got some other wheels coming, but let's enjoy the side here appreciate truck and van specialties they've been absolutely fantastic here in the Grand Rapids area in Michigan I would highly recommend come to the back there's that nice steel drive shaft Ford Drummond Island, but get the 410 gears in here as well. So it's a good start. We'll have a rim reveal soon, but I'm ready to get on the road. I'd first like to thank my co pilot Taga for a steady pause in the filming of this video, but we are going actually about 55 miles an hour because we have 410 gears now. It feels great, but yeah, the speedometer's off because I have not been able to load the tune because the tune was set up for 410 years and 35 inch tires. So that will be coming soon. But the power with the 410 gears, uh, as expected, a lot more torque. This diesel has a six speed transmission. So it's uh, much less wanting to downshift a lot. Even, you know, my diesel's tuned and the transmission's been calibrated to my liking uh, by Jason Hackler. He does a fantastic job. Jason has been tuning these Duramaxes longer than anyone. He was one of the first ones to tune it's the LMN, I believe it's referred to. And he started that back in 2016 uh, before the ZR2 even came out. So I've got almost uh, 40,000 miles on a delete of his and Anytime there's a change to the truck, like I put 33s on, he was able to give me a tune, and that fixed my speedometer, and, you know, no warning lights with the delete. Everything has just been fantastic, but uh, my wheels didn't fit. I got KMC bead locks I used, and they, even though they were the correct backspacing, they were the correct offset of zero and backspacing of four and a half. Uh, they were nine inches wide, I believe, and that may have In one mile, turn right on M186. Thank you, please. So, in all in all, I really enjoyed the gears so far, but that's an initial update.
update and I will have the 35s on soon and we'll film another update but stay tuned for a video probably in about a week after this one comes out and we'll have everything done. Thank you for watching. Uh, just a reminder, when you're out on the trails, please leave it better than you found it. Um, it's been seeing some disheartening things happen on social media, so I want to encourage people to pick up the trail and, like I said, leave it better than I found it. Uh, there's principles of staying on the trail. I know the state of Colorado has some good guidelines that you can look up on a website. I'll put in the link, but thank you for watching, and I will have another update soon.